What's good, man? How y'all doing, man? Doing all right. Well, better now. Um, I'll make a quick little video to show you guys. If you already, obviously, you already seen the first part. I did uh, kind of get, well, I did get stuck in the mud. Um, so this morning, around 4, 4 a.m., I got up, get ready to head to my final destination to drop this load off. Um, I should have recorded it when I was, when, when it all happened, like show you how the setup was, but it crossed my mind. I was so focused on, you know, my appointment time and just getting out of the mud. But so I parked at this little truck site. It wasn't even a truck site. It was like a parking just for trucks, a little small, little parking spot. So when I got there, it was... It was empty pretty much. It was like probably like six trucks there total. So where I parked, I parked in the corner. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a, like a box, like a square, right? I parked in the corner and it was like trucks like, you know, just on the other side, not really where I was. So pretty much I went to sleep. I woke up. It was trucks everywhere. Like in front of me, I couldn't even like go straight. I couldn't even, and then I, one thing I don't do, I don't turn on my right side. I would never turn on my right side because the way you turn and the way the truck turns, you'll hit whoever on that other side of you. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever turn. I'll turn on your left side. So the way the, the way the, the parking lot was set up was the only way to get out was on the right, on all the way to the right. You know, go to, turn right and make a left. So I couldn't make that right turn. So there was like a little. Okay, let me get to it. It was, it's, it was grass, but it looked like it was like concrete, like concrete looking. Yeah, so, but it was froze, you know what I'm saying? So it had a slip top of it. So it looked, at night, it looked just like freaking concrete. So what I did was, and it wasn't, it was somebody backyard, I ain't gonna lie. Somebody backyard, but I just woke up. I'm thinking that it was, it, I'm thinking that it's part of the, the freaking lot because I saw that there was like tracks like truck tracks you know tire tracks all around it going through there so I'm like alright cool but me not thinking you know it's cold you know that that's nothing but just like you know ice and you know at, you know like you know when the grass gets gets cold and you know and there's ice everywhere it's nothing but mud you know what I'm saying turning to mud and I was loaded too, so my truck is heavy as hell. So, people, I made that left turn, right? I went in there perfect. So, when I get deeper, <laughs> deeper, it's like a hill. As I got deeper in, in there, my truck started to slow down. So, I'm like, please don't tell me this is, this is nothing but mud, because I got my foot all the way to the floor thinking that I'm a you know get through it but no so i came to a complete stop and i put my head down like man i already know i done fucked up so i got out as soon as i soon as, I, as, soon as my foot touched the freaking ground my shit sunk into the the grass so nothing but mud you know what i'm saying so i didn't even want to look down <laughs> at my tires but I, I look down and damn sure my like how I'm supposed to explain this like you know on, on the on the 18 wheeler tires are big as hell you know what I'm saying so, and let's say this is the grass this is the grass right I'm gonna just use this as like the mud like this is the top part of the, of the grass this is, somebody somebody called me um, like I was saying this is this is the, the top part of the grass and this is like the mud I'm just saying my <coughs> My tire was like, and I'm gonna use this as my tire. This is the top of it, you know what I'm saying? So my tire was literally like all the way, it had to be like four inches that my tire was in the freaking ground. I could actually get my whole boot in that hole and my ankle is covered up, like it's deep in there. So pretty much, when I got like when I'm doing a dude pulled me out, you know, just him pulling me backwards. 
that it was gonna leave a trail. I just took a picture of it. I did it. Matter of fact, I put it on Snapchat. You didn't add me on Snapchat. I post everything on Snapchat. I don't even record it. I post everything on Snapchat. What happened? I don't know why. To record it. Maybe I'm going to download it and put it on here so you guys can see that on here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put that last, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. But it was like a... You will see it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even explaining it. You don't see it. It was... I fucked that grass up. And I was going to go knock on the door. But it was like early in the morning. I don't know. I just... I was just like so focused on getting my appointment time, get on the road, and I was like, damn. So I will tell you guys, you know, lesson, you know, learn. I definitely learned from this mistake. It was a big mistake because it's gonna cost money because they had to send a tow truck out there and a bunch of mess. And um, so I want to tell you guys before you get on the road, you know, before you take off, do your um, of course, your pre-trip and do your um. What is it called? Like you plan pretty much. You just plan your routes and everything. You plan where you're gonna stop before you take off. Cause what I do is my hours is almost out. I go ahead and go on my phone while I'm driving. I shouldn't do that, but I do it. I go on my phone. Luckily my phone is mounted right here, so I'll, I'm driving. I can just like touch it, like you know. It's like right here, so I'm not like you know looking down. It's like I'm right here touching it. So yeah. So I'm gonna don't think that I'm looking down like this and no, nah, I ain't doing that. I got my phone right here, like with the thin wheel is, so I can keep it and like literally look over and still see. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, just just plan your route, plan where you gonna take take a thirty minute break, plan to do a ten hour break. And yes, yeah, sometimes um, like you driving at night, truck stops be full. You know what I'm saying? Like Hirschbach, they have it where they they don't want us to park on the off ramp, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, if it's full, we be gonna park it, you know what I'm saying? She was like, let that be the last result. Like all parking spots are full, there ain't, you know what I'm saying, no park at all, then yes. But make sure you try every truck stop first, you know what I'm saying? And download the app, it's called the Trucker, Trucker app, pretty much. I, I have that, it tell you what all the um, truck stops said. It tells you if they full or not. It tell you the way stations, um, the open or not. It's perfect, man. I use it all the time, and I definitely recommend you gotta download it. I'm gonna leave you the link. Well, ain't no link. I'm gonna just leave the name of it so you can go on, on your um, on a store, the app, and download it from there. So, so I definitely use that. Um, so yeah, man. Please, this 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 plan y'all routes and we gonna stop 30 minute break or whatever ahead of time so you don't be on your phone looking or in my case get stuck at a at a little truck a little truck stop because i've never parked somewhere without a you know an actual truck stop that's like a little little lot for trucks off in the, off on the side of the highway type shit i always go to a truck stop no matter what but that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to <laughs> to say that, man, because this is no joke out here, man. My tandem sit all the way back, so just making wide turns is just it's dangerous out here, man. And you can, you, you can get stuck. Something can happen real quick, real quick. If you're not careful, not paying attention, you know what I'm saying? It costs money for a tow truck. You know that. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, a, um, I'm a lease, so I think I'm paying it out of pocket. But not like I think it's like through through my checks it's coming out. I don't know. But I think Hirschbach pay for everything, like far as if I'm wrong or if you get stuck. And I just pay for like just the fuel and my maintenance of course and stuff like that. So um, that's pretty much it guys. I don't waste you guys time too much. Um again, if you got any questions, excuse me. <coughs> if you got any questions, you can comment below. Um don't forget to subscribe, man. Uh see you guys for the next video. Deuces. This is where I got stuck. I was stuck for like three hours. Pretty much. This whole lot was pretty much. So I went around making a U-turn. And I went there and tried to turn in there. I didn't know it was straight grass because of the snow. I thought it was like kind of like concrete looking. I don't know. But 